everybody and welcome back to another video of Dino Squad. Today we're going to be doing some um, more um, Dino Squad battles and let's just get into it. Last video I was questioning whether or not I should buy a Mantis or save up to uh, get the Locust. And I think I've decided that I'm just going to save up for the Locust. Although that might change if I really do need a better dino that's going to a little bit help my hangar just a little bit more. So we've come in on Dome and let's just go in the Reaver. The Scarab already has the medium guns. So you can kind of see why I kind of feel like I should get better weapons for some of my dinos. Okay. If we can, let's quickly go to mid. He didn't finish capturing this, so I'm just going to finish it for him. And there's a Primark who has the medium machine gun. So let's just try to team on him and get rid of him. As I mentioned in my last video, the Scarab is really good at defense. As you can see, his smoke um, is just staying around the beacon and protecting it. The sniper actually did a lot of damage, so it must be really well leveled. Okay. He as does have the medium weapons as well. So you can see that a lot of people are starting to upgrade their dinos instead of saving up. But I am the kind of person who kind of like saves up for the really good stuff. Which in the beginning doesn't seem like a good idea because I can't really um, do that much. But it's I can manage somehow. So there's a Marcioni trying to climb up. Let's see if I can go up there. It's fine. We'll just leave him up there. I think another sniper may take care of him. If not, we'll go up with the Reaver when we get it. That should do that. Oh, looks like we have a Wasp on our team, which should even things out just a little bit. They've spawned in a Mantis old already, which isn't good. But let's see how much we can do. So I made this beacon white, which should help in capping it. I think that Mantis or Scorcher should be able to take care of him. Let me jump into the sniper and try to snipe some people. I, it would be a bad idea to um, jump in on the sniper when there's somebody else there. Because the sniper wouldn't really stand a chance against them. And in the sniper mode it's really hard to see people. So basically, you focus somebody and you just have to focus them the entire time. I'm currently saving up for the Locust, which was what is targeting me right now. And as you can see, it does do a lot of damage. Okay. I think I'm going to have to get rid of that Locust, otherwise... It's going to be too much of a threat to the team. Let's see if I can lock onto it. Wait, is that the good guy, Locust? I think... No, that was the bad guy. I don't know why it didn't give me a hit indicator. I don't even think I hit it, actually. Let's see. I think there's a mantis or something behind me right now. 
that might kill me. Okay, looks like there's a battle going on. I turned it white so nothing can spawn there. And let's jump in with the monarch as soon as we can. Unfortunately, there is no other place but beacon A to get, so I'm just gonna have to try and hold up for that time. Trying to get rid of this mantis. Took him down. Another mantis is already coming at us. If I can get rid of this beacon, it would be good so that they can't spawn here again. I should probably back up now. Okay, so Scorcher is really bad. As you can tell, he's already done a lot of damage. They're really fatal at close range. But it takes them a little bit to get in range. Which is why I wanted to get rid of that beacon so that nothing like that can spawn. Unfortunately, he was able to spawn just before I deteriorated it. But... It looks like there's an they have a Dominus, which isn't good. Yeah, there's too many Rexes, but I did weaken him a little bit. So let's go in with the Reaver and try to cap some beacons without the enemies noticing. Get rid of a Mantis. Capturing this should give us a couple points. Looks like there's somebody else on here with me. And there's a Mantis as well, so let's... Ugh. Yeah, the Mantis was helping him out there, so I couldn't get it in time. Let's go on A. Try to push them back a little bit. Not sure if we'll be able to. Assist on that. Weaken him there. Okay, a Scarab looks like it'll be able to take this. And they have an enemy Dominus as well. Unfortunately, I can't leave this beacon, otherwise the red team will get it. And now there's a Dominus. So let's cap that back. I'm gonna want to get out of his fire range. As you can see, the Dominus did a lot of damage to me in a short amount of time. That's mostly because I'm just a Primar, and because they're very um, damaging. This guy's trying to go around. We did lose. They had Dominuses and other things, but our team had some good things as well, so it was kind of even. Anyways, let's just jump right into the next match. Usually when I spawn in my Monarch, it really turns around the game. But when I spawn it in, I really have to be careful where I spawn it. In this match, I didn't really have that much of a choice. Because they had all the beacons pretty much. So I was forced to take a and kind of go into the middle of all the battle. But I think I'll go for D real quick. It's not that smart to use your ability to get to a beacon quicker. And now the scarab is probably a bad idea, but it's okay. Yeah, we cannot take on a scarab without help. But I don't want him to take the beacon either, so I'm just going to try to stand on it a little bit. Let's go back at him with the bite ability. Since he just did his tail sweep, he has extra resistance, which allows him to not take that much damage anymore. Ugh, I didn't hit my bite ability. 
I missed the button. Looks like we're having another scenario of losing all the beacons. Able to, we were able to take off that locust and hopefully get rid of this Primark as well. Now if we can just cap this beacon back. Oh no, they have a locust which is currently um, targeting me. Let's see. It would be good to get rid of him as soon as we can. I hit him perfectly. He ran at me and he got hit with the tail sweep. Okay, so I don't think this locust is well leveled yet, so it's not doing that much damage, that is fatal, but enough hits will be able to kill me. But right now I can take a few. As soon as I can capture this, I'll run down and help this beacon over here. Hit him. Okay, we're evening it, evening it out a little bit. Hopefully all the mantises that just spawned on our team will be able to push them back a little bit. And uh, yeah, I wasn't able to do that, but he did die before he could take the beacon. Um, I'm going to wait on my monarch just so that there isn't as many... T-Rexes on the battlefield, and possibly, like, snipe some of the other Rexes. More kills, more battle points, which would be really helpful to get the Monarch quickly. quickly. Okay, Scorcher needs to go as soon as possible. He's just walking in circles. I was only hitting him with one of my weapons. So yeah, it's really important how you stand when you start your sniper mode. Because if you're standing to the side and just shooting one a person over there, you're only going to hit them with one of your weapons, not both of them. That's just like a little something that's in the game. Then there's a Dominus right next to us somehow. Unfortunately, as a sniper, all I could possibly have done is just try and stand on the beacon. But I would have been stepped on by everybody else here. Getting on this perch and trying to snipe him. I'm doing critical damage. Just before you gather on the corner. I'm gonna try to cap this beacon back. So as you can see, all the mantises and scorchers are doing are basically deteriorating the beacons. And they're not taking it back though, because that's not really their job as a T-Rex. And as a sniper, I should probably run if I can. Yeah. Nobels are pretty strong too, but they're kind of like the sniper T-Rexes. Dominus is a brawler. Monarch is medium range. And the uh, Curie is the long range. So they've really set up a different T-Rex for each job. I was able to get him away from this beacon so I could take it back. 
they're ahead of us at this time, but hopefully that won't last too long. I can't hit him. Uh, no. Get rid of the beacon so nothing can spawn here. Okay, that's a good guy. So they use their mantises and scorchers really early, so now they don't have anything to use, and our team is just spawning in our um, T-Rexes. So right now we have the upper hand, but it'll be an evil match quickly after we are killed, because they're getting their second round of T-Rexes out. When you're in a monarch, it's really hard to hit a small little reaver because when they move around a lot, it's so hard because they're so small compared to the size of your ammo. So you just have to kind of wish, hope to um, splash damage them. I mostly deal with the reavers by roaring at them because that's enough to kill them my roar ability this dominus didn't really do that well he didn't shoot me the right way gonna try to help out over here make that white so nothing will spawn behind us and get rid of a mantis monster times four they're trying really hard to push for this beacon. Even a sniper tried to come over here. I'm gonna cap this beacon so it takes them a little bit more time to get rid of it. Time six. Oh, there's a locust that snuck up behind me now. Two locusts are, locusts are coming, so let me just or to try and hit both of them at once. And that would give me monster times eight. See, everybody has locusts now. It's really powerful if you've leveled it right. And you should get the better shotguns, I'm uh, not shotguns, um, weapons for it. I've just been running back and forth with these two beacons this entire battle. Just trying to keep them. Hopefully my team's gotten some beacons back there so that I don't have to worry too much about that. Monster times 11. Cap this back. Now there's snipers trying to snipe me. Yep, I'm pretty big. I'm a pretty big target. A big juicy target indeed. So they won't have any problem doing that. I'm letting him walk right into that roar ability. Taking him down. And that's game. We still lost because we weren't able to cap beacons, but I did place first thanks to my monarch. Got monster times 12, right? I think. It was a really close match though. Well, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment down below what you think was um what you thought was the coolest thing of this video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye